Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Dungeons and Dragons, Curse of Strahd campaign. Uh, like usual, we are a charity uh, focused website, uh, so if you guys can donate, there are links down below on our Twitch and YouTube channels. You can donate to American Foundation Suicide Prevention, uh, we have a special drive going for that, or you can donate toward Red Cross, which is provided through links down below as well, to assist with the recovery efforts uh, after the hurricanes. If you guys can't donate, we understand. You can always help us out by liking, subscribing, sharing our posts on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Check us out on Echo5Studios.com. Uh, and we can't take us a click on the ads, but we can remind you that all ad revenue goes towards charity. So do with that information as you will. And also talk to us on Twitch. Yeah, say hi. <coughs> Communicate. You know, we, we read those. We get lonely. We miss Dixie. <laughs> I hope you get <laughs> I mean, it might. I hope you get fine to you again. Uh, yes. I can't think of any witty response for that. I'm sorry. I'm just... Flatliner. So, catching back up to where our game was, uh, we're the good guys. Question mark? Question mark. <laughs> Um, they have navigated their way around most of the cavern. Uh, they've cleared out the immediate threat of elderly uh, werewolves yeah. uh, and young pups. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kicked so, them into the walls, the you know. ceilings, pillars. Excellent. Fire. Good job there. Uh, they killed a couple other werewolves uh, that were aggravating them or just cross paths with them as they were trying to run out. Uh, they did find a creepy one kind of by the shrine. Um, bitch be crazy. Who was actually against the current alpha uh, in the pack. So she's hoping to enlist their aid and remove him. And so she's a, is she a wolf? She is a wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that. Uh, but she is in the room with a bunch of caged up children. We figure it's safe since them there. Yeah. They left them there for right now as they continue exploring the cave and making sure it is all secure. And that is where we'll pick up once again in this mildewy, wet dog, bone ridden cavern. Yeah. Bird. Okay, so we're gonna split up and make sure it's, it's I mean, cool. Or? We should definitely check out whatever's going on here and whatever's going on here. Yeah. I'm gonna start hoping it towards basically the path not taken. That way? Oh no, over here actually. I want to cover and make sure that if there was anything in here that it was not too late. That's we what can... we're going to. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I we can't. So, so much fail. So I'm much... sorry. She's not very sturdy anyway, so just... I mean, after that boob job, it just threw her off. Did you break the second arena? No, she just keeps falling over. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's, a little, she's a little bit yeah. off balance. She hasn't quite gotten the new uh, through. Yeah, I doesn't like to have two boots. Recalibrating. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's why I'm there to support her. You guys going up and down and around? Yeah. Into the cesspool? Oh. This is our bathhouse. Uh, over on this side, you find uh, up in the ceiling there is a <clears throat> gash in the rocky ceiling that allows. Uh, gray light and cold drizzle of the outdoors to seep into this oh. dank, torchlit cave. Oh, okay, okay. Thank y'all. Where an underground spring forms a pool of water roughly 40 feet across and 10 feet deep. Five foot high ledge to the north overlooks the pool. So that'd be kind of from the area you guys just came from. The more the northwest. Uh, that mm -hmm. ledge, yep. A similar ledge sp spans the eastern wall with a rough hewn store staircase leading up to it. Yeah. If you create set, as you go towards that way. I'm yeah. at, well, I'm, I'm heading that way, sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna let you continue. That's fine. You sense any danger, bro? I, I don't have like a danger sense or something like that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't bitten by like a radioactive spider. Dang danger spider. bug. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson, yeah. danger. Yeah. I mean, we're in, we're in a cave full of werewolves, so I'd say, be, you know, just a, as a general rule, you might want to keep an eye open. Uh, can, I, can I keep two eyes open? All right, if you want. Is that too much? I suppose it's up to you. I mean, it's more than one. 
Oh, it's just, there's a bunch of rage underneath this cave. <laughs> so much rage. And that explains the uh, kind of feeling of dread no. and murder. This this whole cave complex was built on an Indian rage site. <laughs> <laughs> As you make your way into this subsection, uh, you notice a few crates that sit atop the eastern ledge. Loot it! Where do you think's in these crates? I'm gonna go probably find food. out. Well, there's no werewolves here, so we should probably go back the other way. Otherwise, you can Loot it. find your. Uh, <laughs> well, I feel like we've we've gone the whole way except for maybe down that one other path over there. But I'll take a quick peek in one, I'll of, these, go one of these crates. Sure. Yeah, yeah, as you crack you. open the crates, uh, you know it's just piles and piles of adult-sized clothing. Oh, okay. They probably go through all the. All their clothing, oh, raging out. Yeah. It's like the Hulk really oh, getting a steady sure. supply of like purple pants. Exactly. And those are hard to come by. Right. Um, this is one guy who keeps selling the same pants. Like, oh my god, who buys all these pants? I realize this is like a week ago at this point, but we we were described an enormous pile of treasure around that statue, and we never asked about that. But it's true. I suppose we can desecrate that statue later. Um, yeah, we're actually the two of us. While you guys are over there, cool. we're going up over here to see what's what coming down. What if we got down. a caca? They will caca as long as you can. transform into a bird. Now you can't fly, can you? He'll It'll transform like into a rodent, like an emu. <laughs> Could you turn or? into a kiwi or an ostrich? Like they can't fly. Uh, before you actually go through that stairwell. Uh, you have to kind of part, there's like a little, it's just a curtain mm-hmm. hanging away. Um, it's made of flesh, though. Oh, flesh, flesh curtain. <laughs> Christ. Not just like, skin. Like, seriously? Like, it's made but, out of flesh. But flesh. It's like a bacon curtain. It's, <laughs> it's, you kind of see it's, it appears to be human. It's, it's a human flesh curtain leading into a long, dank tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I just gotta spread those lips apart, you know. You're done. <laughs> We're all done. You're done. And that's it for today. That there might be like some faces woven in on this, so I just gotta, you know, split. You make your way through this ten foot high, ten foot wide tunnel. There's a yo mama jumping here somewhere. Some about your mama's flesh curtains. Fun around, it comes to its peak, and you notice. That there is a doorway, uh, kind of hidden within the stonework. Shit. Do I hear anything other than <laughs> fucking Motha going? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, no. It's an eight plus what is it? Perception. Hmm. Eleven. Dun, 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 dun. Are they bats? These here, as she goes up, like. Like three steps at a time, like dun 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 What's going on, Shannon? It's like shh, shh. What do you see? Shh. Um, it might be the outdoor room. He's not here, so probably. I'm gonna press it open. Okay. Very slow. I'm not gonna just like bust open. I'm just gonna very slow. Ah, yeah, bitches. Sure. There's puppies in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just a room full of puppies. <laughs> and then the, the, there's like this avalanche of forks. <laughs> she could like tumble downstairs. <laughs> like a swarm of forks. As you open the, the doorway, um, it leads outside, actually. Well, right in front of you. So it kind of circles back around. It leads its way up. Uh, looking outside, you're now above where the mouth opening of the cave would be. Um, so is that where that one lady went, you think? So you know. In front of you is a 20-foot diameter rain of stones that dominates the rocky ledge on the mountainside. Within the rain, you see spattered blood and small gnawed bones. Ugh. Lying on the ground outside the circle are several spears stained with dry blood. I think this is where the children have their death match. Death match. Probably. Probably. 
Is there anyone around in the area that I can see or Always hear? Fresh footprints. Do, did you get like a good two? Swing at Isn't that what I add to that? It's two. You're kind of overtaken by the sight and the strong sound of wind and uh, rain. It's, it's, it's hard to uh, discern anything else beyond that. That's right. This is, like, is there any fresh blood leading up here? Is there any fresh blood on the ground? Um, I'll on. say with that perception check, they've been. Uh, it's tough to tell. Yeah. There's just a lot of bones and it is. What those eyes? Can I also perception check? I thought I didn't know if I could too. Yeah. Well, like, I'm Our, like, if she did run up this way, I think Bro got a swing on her. It's, it was a long time ago. That was two sessions ago. At least. So, yeah. 14 and 7 is a 21. Uh, you notice, uh, it's tough to see at first, but now with kind of the moonlight or, or the <laughs> sunlight coming through the doorway, uh, you do see a bloody paw print along the doorway. Fresh? Here's me some fresh. It's about one session old. One session old? I bitch got away. She's going to warn you. Shit. First. Shit, we have to make that trap now. What trap? For the hunting party. Well, if, if she goes in the water, oh, I'm not there. I, I'm assuming we're going to regroup at some point when um, we're clearing all the cave out. Okay, we can go back down from here because there's nothing else exciting. Is there any way to barricade that door so no one can get in it? Well, why don't we ask? What I would so like to do about this is place. I'm going to close the door. I have one sack of ball bearings. <laughs> one sack of balls. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me a lot of dudes to get to as many as I have now. So are you going to spill the contents of your sack, like, all up there? I'm going to kind of <laughs> place it in the door, so if somebody opens it, it's going to spill all down the stairs. And, like, there won't be a way for you to not hear that. They're oh, that's there. genius. But they're, they're tiny balls. You can also, like, tiny balls. people can slip on them and, like, fall down the stairs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I like that idea. You're a thinker. That's what I'm doing, and I will not be able to retrieve these testicles. So, they were gone. From retrieve there. your testicles. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm laying a trap, and we're going to go back downstairs. You just take out almost like a little marble bag, and just going to pour them all around there. Well, no, I'm not going to pour them down. I'm going to close them, like, kind of part of the bag in the door. Yeah. So if someone opens the door, it's going to fall and spill. Okay. So they'll be aware. If, like, if maybe they'll be aware of the marble ball trap. Or they maybe not. Okay. Fair enough. Noted. Noted. One way or another, we know somebody's coming through that way. Yep. Someone's coming through that way. All right. Where is everybody else at? Can we go back down? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I guess we can take uh, the rest of the the group. Where are we going to go? We're in here. I don't know if that's there, so I'll follow them with them. In here, everyone. We have a semi-ally. A semi-ally? semi so you guys head over to the female werewolf stand beside the shrine. Yep. Is the cavern clear? Well, we can tell. Yeah. Seems that way. Appears to be. But no sign of the one they cut away? Nope. We think no. she got out that, that way. Then we must assume that she's going to warn the west of the hunting party. Yeah. We're fucked. You can take them. I mean, I did set a trap in that door up there. So if anyone comes in from that way, we'll be able to find them. We'll know. Yeah, if they try to sneak up on us. But we should probably figure something out for the other entrance. Yeah, set some, like, defenses and whatnot. We have that. What do you want to do about your father? Um, I'm not prepared to deal with that right now. Was he, is he still out there? Probably. Mm. Maybe. He's tied to a tree, right? Yeah. We should probably put him in here. Maybe put him on one of these cages for now. <laughs> the, the are empty cages. I have feelings about that, but I don't know what they are yet. Let's deal with one thing at a time. You have emotions. <laughs> Emotion unknown. 
There here are emotions here. Some of them. Unless you think he can help us. He might be able to answer some questions or I don't know what cooperate questions I have. the story. Do you have specific questions? Well, we've got a number of things we need answers for. We but I think it would probably be a little bit. It would probably more be humor, blah, 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 words, uh, be more humane if we have them at least in here and not tied up in the rain. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's fine. And if we leave him out there tied up, he might get killed by the hunting party coming back. Or he might get farmed by them and tip him off even more. And that already be tipped off. Yeah, let's get him. <laughs> let's get him. Okay. Um, for a moment, should we... You know, at least let these kids out of the cages, even if we tell them not to run away. Yeah. They shouldn't be in the cages. Yeah. Well, why are they in cages anyway? Have so they, that they don't run away. Have they been turned? I mean, have they been Lady? cursed? Ask, uh... Yeah. Is, Zoolander. Is it Zia? Is it Lika? Yeah. Are these, are these children all right? Have they, or have they already been... <sighs> c- converted as members of the tribe? These are candidates. So they're they're fine for now. Probably not yet. What would you do with children? Return them to their families if they have any. And if they're werewolves? Find a cure. If they are? I thought you said they weren't. If we do come across a child werewolf. What would you do? If they are trying to get us, then... Yeah, no, it will see what happens. <laughs> um, but I suspect if they were they were unaware and wanted to return to their normal lives, then we would try to help them get that back. We have heard that there are ways to get rid of lycanthropy. Yeah, big word for me right now. <laughs> lycanthropy. Yeah, yeah. And do you speak for everyone in your party? Not yeah. Just. Yeah. Okay. We're pretty much all on the same wavelength for the most part. Okay. I mean, it's kind of give or take with Brar, but he's pretty docile. Well, I'm not into killing things as what ain't a threat. Yeah. But if in exactly. a, if becoming a werewolf was not their choice, then they have every right to go back to their lives as they know it. If they choose to. But if they choose to be werewolves and they are not trying to kill us. Which it's not so much the fact that they're werewolves that I think we've got we take an issue with. It's the the fact is what they go and they they attack innocent people. Is yeah. yeah. So like, like take take that old man over there, for instance. Uh, we was we was okay just leaving him be, right? But then he said, "No, I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a menace myself." We're not down to kill kids, but we also don't want to force someone into a fate that they didn't choose. I believe you. Yes, all, all these are unturned children. Okay. Would you like to let them all out then? Yeah. I mean, we don't we don't want to start a mass panic here because it might be safest if the children stay here for them for now um, until we can get them back to their families if they have any families left. If not, um, we call in some favors. Yeah. We start an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> we start it sounds like a good, good job for Irina. Yeah. Irina's an orphanage? Yeah. Great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's like, I didn't sign up for any of this. I really, I'm, I'm really more like a kind of single income, no kids kind of lifestyle. <laughs> uh, you, you, you do go around to the kids, and there are actually a couple moon elves. Uh, amongst them. Oh. Um, most part, they do appear to be Barovians, though. Uh, you do notice inside one of the cages, kind of tucked in the corner, all dirty and scra- scratched up, is a little carved wooden owl. And this oh. is going way back, back when you guys had a clerk in the party for a hot minute. As you guys look at this, you think back owl? to him. And he used to carry around the same kind of token. Yeah, it was his daughter's. Yeah. His kids were like one missing a while, like a long, long time ago. Or some time ago. That's why he's adventuring. Or he turned into an alcoholic. That's why he disappeared. Yep. And thinking, putting pieces together. 
his kids were probably taken by the werewolves. Yeah. Would have been a great plot hook. There you go. Only you were still around. Those bitches, man, they'd sneak up right up on you and try to jump on the next thing you know. You're just dead. dead. It's never. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't die. <clears throat> he just, he was too drunk and didn't show up for our adventure and then. Do got left behind. You got left behind. Stuck in Phandalin. Yeah, he's stuck in Phandalin. <laughs> Worst <We're> fates. <laughs> Do any of these children, are any of them four foot, five inches tall, with blue eyes and brown hair? No, these these appear Do to be you? more like children, nine year children? old children. Yeah. Children, 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 children. Maybe children. We, we could ask if anybody's Gertruda. Yeah. Well, if anybody. Might you Gertruda? Description. She could have been one of the kids that didn't make it in the, the fighting pits. Probably. <coughs> They're around like nine, ten years old, around that general age group. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna step forward and I'm just gonna ask: My Do head. any of you children know a, a Gertrude? Gertrude. <laughs> she was from a young girl from Barovia, I think, right? First time. Blue eyes, brown hair, scared probably. Scared oh, oh, the kids are. <laughs> they themselves seem pretty scared. Uh, it meets all like, their everything. clothing is soaked in their own defecation urine. And and, uh, worse than lunch box box and let's see if we can tidy this up a little bit while we're here. Can you knock off? That's probably a good idea, actually. Good idea? Yeah. Anybody else? I'm okay. No. Anybody? speak up for it all, or are they just terrified? They're all substantially terrified. Well, uh, to be... Y'all, yeah. Does anyone want to go home? Raise your hand. <laughs> Put your hand down, Brock. Many of you caged people want to go home. They're all just kind of like shaking in the corner, but you do see kind of the little tiny hands why come up. Why don't we get you guys all cleaned up and in some fresh clothes, and get you some proper food and we'll staff there. You guys have been in these cages a while. Let's get some real rest. Well, let's get them out of the cages first. Yeah, and once we get rid of all the bad werewolves, we'll take everyone home. Yeah, but you guys can't go running off. Because if you run off, the bad werewolves might die. Yeah, y'all might die. Yeah, so y'all need to stick with us. I'm not you, trying to show you. You see them kid. cower even deeper into the corner. Like, y'all have to stay with us. You know, it's it's, it's all right. She's she's <laughs> been through a lot. Why I mean, don't I'm just trying to keep from running off? Do off. any of you guys know Irina from Borovia? I mean, she just looked like a familiar face. We might be strangers, but some of you might recognize her. Why don't she and I take some of you? Whoever wants to go, we'll we'll take a bath. There's a spring over here. We'll get y'all cleaned up. We'll get you into some. Clothes over here, that'd be fine. Just let them chuck them in the pool. It'd be great. Well, there's there's some like we found some adult clothes, but we can uh, we can work with that. We can roll it up or something. Get some, like... A couple of kids do recognize Irina. Uh, she's a very prominent figure in the Brogan town. Um, if you are to reach the cage con to help them out, uh, you notice that their fingernails are caked with dirt. Oh, sorry. Um, and they do kind of cling to you Aww. for safety. Uh. Let's, let's just, let's, we're going to just take like a bunch of them into the spring area and get them all like washed up. And at least they'll make them feel more normal. And then they need can, a thunder blanket. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys figure out what you're going to do about your dad. We're going to bring him in here. We're going we're gonna to go be maternal. I mean, y'all are, and I'm just... I don't do children. <laughs> Not in life, nor in games. <laughs> Sam. Bro, do you help out these little rugrats? Oh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll help them out by pushing the rocks off the top of their cages. Yeah. And, like, letting them out of the cage. But otherwise, I'm like, oh, you're, you're like Mankle, but less interesting. <laughs> um, and if we haven't already, I'm sorry if I missed it, but I will poke around that pile of stuff around the statue. Is it okay with sure. you? Yeah, well, I don't know so what her reaction is going to be. Where's Zalika? Zalika? I'm just curious, like... I'm, I'm sort of curious what's going on with that. Like, does the statue change them into werewolves? I think it's probably just their... It's good. I need to get done. Yeah, I was saying, uh, just moving the pots and pans around. It's not... Mm-hmm. 
I don't want to make a mess of the coffee. There's stuff in the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, as you kind of make your way over to kind of shovel through the, the treasure, uh, Zalika's like, ooh, it would be bad if you were to disturb this oh, treasure. What happened? <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to anger Mother Knight. Well, have you met me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mother Knight! Oh, okay. I want to ask her, is Mother Night the same as the Night Mother? Like Morning, Morning Glory? Lord and Morning, Glo- Morning Lord? Morning Lord and Night Mother? You, you can probably same. see that where it's just maybe different phrases, different terms, but the same kind of gotcha. Okay. Um, as you do kind of look at the treasure, though, you do notice that it's hefty piles of coinage. Um, at least 250 gold. About that. Yeah, um, that seems like many. So gemstones. Uh, some of them are really nice, like real nice gemstones. You see some jewelry down there. Uh, a nice ivory drinking horn. Ooh. Probably taken from the families of these dead kids. Oh my God. And a very well crafted ornate electrum sensor with platinum filigree. Um, so, what is, what's the relationship between this, this, uh, night, night mother and werewolves? Does she make the werewolves? <laughs> is she like the patron, patron god the patron of werewolves? Saints of, uh, there were scribes for the moon, night, uh, werewolves, yeah. night, moon, all kind of go hand in hand. Um, so that's the theology of it, the background, I'm not too familiar with it. No, but I mean, is she like an evil god? Is she just sort of like a, a god that happens to be worshipped by evil baby stealing peoples? <laughs> it's more. I'm gonna say evil. Um, they probably see her more as like the creator of them, mm-hmm. watcher over of them, but not necessarily their actions were dictated by her. Okay. Like it wasn't like one of her guidelines. Um, Well, um, what do you know? What time the the hunting party is supposed to be back? And do they usually? I mean, so I guess we're we're operating under the assumption that uh, one of your friends got out to warn them. Do you think they'll come in the front jaw thing anyway, or do you think they'll come in like that back secret passage? There's only the there's only the two entrances. Uh, it is scalable, so if you can climb. To the top. But it would be difficult with the rain. Mm. But most likely they would just come in the front. Most likely. Um, are there any hidden entrances that we don't know about other than the two? Just those two. This better not be lying. There's an insight skill for that. <laughs> 20! Natural 20? Mm-hmm. Unnatural 20. <laughs> uh, she seems to be sincere and is telling the truth. Much better. What? Much better. Are you going to get my dad? We should bring him in. Uh, if nothing else, it will sound like the, the wolf boys, though. Wolf boys! Wolf boys, go get him. Go get him. Go get my dad! Please, please go get my dad. <laughs> he wants us to go out there with a hunting party coming at any, any time. Well, it's probably not any time. I'll, I'll go get, I'll go get him. With You're gonna go get him? Go, you want me to go with you, wolf boy? I guess if you know the turtle and shit. The longer we stay, the more I hate this place. Whatever. <laughs> We're almost done. We just gotta get rid of that that hunting party. Best we can. Let's go get her father. Thanks, guys. You going with him? I'll go with him. Because they're gonna run off as well. 
Okay. I'd like to go as well to kind of keep a lookout with my little goggles on. <laughs> survey the area. <laughs> All right. Because uh, they got the night vision, man. Yeah. <laughs> I also have goggles, but I just keep the blood out. I want you to have like those tiny windshield wipers on. Yep. Gosh. I hate like up down windshield wipers. I like it when they're just like. I don't know, it just makes more sense to me, and I like it. It confuses me. Like, I, we rented a car in the sink, and like, oh, I can't even look out the window. It's, it's too when strange. They, when they do this, yeah. oh my god, that's what my windshield wipers do. It's like, <laughs> every time. For you. All right. So, you two, yeah. along with the Wolf Brothers, headed out. What do uh, Red Jenny and Moto do? Red Jenny's over here with Karina getting the kids cleaned okay, up. Getting the kids cleaned up. Yes, um... Yeah. It's hot spring, or well, it's not a hot spring currently, but it's good. about to be. Ooh, yeah, make that shit nice. <laughs> Trying to. I need a bath. <laughs> you, you, you can I'm gonna jump take in a there. Bath. You take the kids out of the way, and Moto jumps in. <laughs> and we're like, we're getting this bath ready for the kids, and Moto's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make that shit bubble. Bubble <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I right, what you gotta think it's gonna be positive for the little moon elf children. Yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, look at the moon elf lady. We can grow up. There's we do get older. Future. It gives them hope. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna stand here like an idiot again. Blah. Well, I mean, are you gonna go take a bath? Are you gonna talk to talk to your dad? Because <laughs> we're going to go get your pops. I mean, this is a tough choice. Would you rather <laughs> hang out with dirty kids or would you go talk to your your dad, but but I mean, it, it, it's a hard choice because the dad's like a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. He's been gone for like a. He's century. a coward. You're not even really my dad. Like, let's be honest. He didn't raise me. I mean, he genetic donored you. Yeah, thank you for the sperm. <laughs> Fathers are important. <laughs> I mean, even mine sort of kind of raised me like half the time. <laughs> uh, All right, you know what? I'll rest. I'll go. That's a huge crew going to my dad. Like everybody's going. Just the four of us. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, what about these guys? They're, they're staying with the puppies. I, I thought they puppies. died. Oh, they're, they're dead. dead. You know, all of them? Yeah, they yeah they're all, all dead. of them are dead. All the puppies yeah. are dead. They're like making skins and stuff now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a horrible, y'all. The, wolf, the Wolf Brothers were promised pelts. One, yeah. Yeah, one, even one. if it's a small oh, pelt, they're going to take it. It's it, probably soft and fluffy. Yeah, they're probably like going to make fancy hats for... Yeah. Like, they're going to take the whole bodies and make those like mink scarves mm-hmm. where it's like the, the mouths are attached to the tails. And I've got plans for these. It's really good. <laughs> I've got plans for these, some of those claws. All right. So it's tiny baby claws. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Stick to them to the bigger claws. So, like, so what? My okay. spikes. Okay. Go get my dad and go wash the kids. Well, and I will spikes. just dictate, or not dictate, delegate. My job is delegation. <laughs> go do stuff. Go we, do we go retrieve the father. And yeah. I shall be right here. The storm outside continues. Uh, the storm of access. It's always storming. It's always some sort of hurricane that's unseasonably catastrophic. (laughs) (laughs) Too soon. Too real. (laughs) Strat. Hurricane Strat. As you go outside, uh, up the ways, as you guys tie them up a little bit into the tree line, uh, you approach, kind of shielding your eyes from the rainfall. You see that all that's left are some bindings. Oh, motherfucker got away. Is it too rainy and too muddy and too dark to track? Like, see if he was taken or if he left of his own? I want to know the same thing. Hmm. I'm a bounty hunter. Okay. Zane, my first radio. They can do a nature check or... Bounty hunter? I was going to use survival. Survival, yep. Yeah. I'm going to use mystic blue dye. I love those. They're so pretty. Blue dye. Yeah, it's pretty rainy out. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty rainy. Well, uh, survival? Nine total. Uh, the, even even looking at your own footsteps, the rain kind of fills it in and the, the mud just falls 
into it. Um, it's just tough to. Does ten get anything? It's just real tough with the rain to follow anything. It's real tough, guys. It's real tough. It's real hard. Get better eyes. Wow. You do see some tracks leading away from the cave. Okay. Bye. Well, not much we can do about it now. Nope. Well, we might as well get inside and hunker down. And be ready. to stand. All right, let's devise a plan of trapping. Trap or trapping? We're gonna trap these motherfucking wolves. Well, we're, we have we killed positions. the women and children, so we it's have, <laughs> we have good positions for like shooting them mm-hmm, like, from mm-hmm, here, mm-hmm. and then another ledge here, mm-hmm, and like. Mm-hmm. Now, is there any way we can block up that back entrance? So we only have one. Probably. Uh, well, you say that, but I'm thinking about. We that time when it. we took like Cragmaw Keep or whatever. No way. Oh, and then, found a back door. Well, no, I don't no, know if it's we, the same guy. But we blocked up like all them, all them. Bro, I recognized, recognized him. Okay. The same guys. I think he saw them. Recently. Yeah, because you guys like had a good like tussle, and he was like swore revenge against you. And I wonder if it's the same werewolf. You, you saw kind of like a, ah. a larger werewolf in the tree line as yeah. the, the attack kind of retreated back. Um, but my point is, remember, remember when we had, we laid all sorts of elaborate traps, and then they're like, "Well, we're just gonna fucking bust down these doors." Yeah. And all of that shit. I think we still have some bear traps too. Oh boy, I got bear traps. But but my question to you is, do we have like any any cool magics that we can do to just shut that back door? We can use the the whole. Oh no, do we already use the bar on something? Well, we do have the rod. The rod. We do have the immovable rod. Um. And um, I need to rest. Well, well, you might not have a chance. Okay, you can't shatter, um, but we can rod something up. Let's rod that. The door up here opens out, so we wouldn't be able to immovable rod it. Mm. Because if we put it outside, we just click the button and take it out. There's not a door down here. Mm -mm. It's just a flush curtain. Wait, you said it opens out up there? I'll double check Mm -hmm. to see if it opens out or in. Because that's critical. Critical? Critical. That was real for it. But they can also like beat it down and go like yeah, there's always that too. Yeah. It goes out. Okay, but I mean, there's I have set a trap there to notify us if anyone opens that door. That's good. But I do agree <laughs> that we do need to no, try I'm, to find somewhere to block this. Um, I mean, th- it's better than nothing, but my, yeah. Who knows? I mean, it seemed like they we still had some time. If maybe I just rest a little while. Okay. Well, why don't why you? Basically, make yourself a neat little bed out of people clothes, and then get get yourself some Z's. I can put up a wind wall, but I gotta focus on that. Yeah. What's the good stuff? Well, this has the least rotting corpses, but this also has like this rain mist coming down here. But you no, know, beggars can't be choosers. It'll be relaxing, like better. white noise. Yeah. It might be like helpful. that. Might be we'll the best. Keep to the wisdom for the position because if she casts moonbeam, she can cast it down on that crack, and it pretty much by the laws of light refraction, it will bounce off into water and go everywhere. It's not it shall protect <laughs> you. It'll hit all the water droplets coming down from the crack, and it'll just prism. It'd be dish. very pretty, but I don't think <laughs> the intended effect. I'm just gonna start carrying around a disco ball. We'll like throw up, and she can moonbeam it, and it's just like. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it would work. Like, you know, that's how <laughs> we started a rave. <laughs> this is how this that's became how a rave over. cave. <laughs> I mean, this is how we won back Barovia. Rage. Rave we games. turned Barovia and we turned it up. Disco. We turned yeah. it up. Turn it into the And everyone was so happy. Creation. And they're like, yo, you can go if you want. <laughs> At first, people were like sad about all the mist, but then we turned it into like a laser show and it was perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shut up. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all know what's yes. coming soon, though, right? Hmm. It's October. Oktoberfest? Halloween. Yes. Actually, Oktoberfest was September, but yeah. it's okay. Halloween. Halloween haunted houses. And that's not my shit. It's not my shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, just can't watch scary commercials. But. Okay. 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 Game plan. Like, I'm, I'm going to make my little bedding here with like as many kids I want to like make a little nest with me. We'll just all pile it together. Are you um, cuddling? We're just for warmth. It's very cold here in Barovia. And so you're you're. 
I'm useless. Gonna take a nap. You're useless. Okay. Uh, but I mean, just for the moment, go get a, go get some sleep. Make yourself. What do you get back from a short rest, by the way? Um, you, no spells, just hit die. What do you, What do you get from s- warlock? You get stuff back for I warlock. I get spells back for warlock, but um, I haven't taken anything warlocky until I get a long rest in. Cool. It's not gonna be a long one. We'll see. For sure, um, rest I get. Um, I think Hunter Party was not coming back. Maybe? Maybe we should stay in this cave yeah, forever. Maybe they need some. Oh my god, it's so I'll, dang I'll use my last hit die, that's what I'll do. Because I'm going to beat up the shit. Anyway. What, what fancy magic things can you do? Can you, like, make stone things be other stone things? I can make my skin be stone. Well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. I have druid craft. What if we just have Would you go like stand helpful? right, right in that doorway and then just turn the stone? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do with druid craft? It's, it's uh, I silly. feel like druid craft is is that's the cantrip, right? So it's mostly just like yeah. little things. Yeah, it's you can fun. you can be scary and make <laughs> thunder, thunder. That would be good. Far. I could do the thunder thing. No, thunder. Lightning uh, in the thunder. Um. Um. I don't think other ways that we could block off that entrance. Moonbeam? We could put a moonbeam there. But, gotta, but that's a temporary thing. Yeah. Like we could, lesson, You don't so, want to waste that. So my, my, my thought would be if we could completely remove that as a possibility for entrance, not like, you know, barring the door. What about the rocks? Like what it. about the rocks that we're on top of? I don't think it's enough to block up yeah. that entry point. I mean, can I make a, uh, a stone cunning? Roll and see if there's any good, like, okay, e- like easy ways that I could, you know, start hacking away at the support to collapse that whole entranceway. Get Shanna's beads first. If, I mean, okay, mm. not that's cool too, but this is the route I'm going. I'm, I we need, like, what would make that collapse? Shatter or Stone Shape, I think, would be the ones that spring to mind, but those are both high level spells. Um, and Poison spray? Mm, yeah. I could try wind wall. <laughs> Can I look through the like? So okay, those crates, all those crates were all is. Every single one of them is just a, adult clothes. We only looked like really looked in one. I don't know if we searched them all. You have to search more of them. Yeah, I could put I on for explosives for bedding. Stone skin, and then ram myself into the doorway a bunch of times. The problem is the doorway opens out. So no, I'm just saying like the oh, just, uh, like, like where it. it comes in there and just collapse it. <laughs> so I want to search the crates, just looking for usable items. Sure. Uh, you search through, and it's still just a bunch of clothing that you're kind of throwing around. You might find like a new kid's shirt or something like that. And for the most part, it's all adults, adult shapes, our sizes. Uh, what if we pile the dead puppies up? <laughs> wow. As you're kind of throwing the clothes around, you do happen upon the yes. journal. Sandbag and something. I'm gonna put him like motherfucker. God. But is it one of the older ones or the newer ones? Mm-hmm. It's three years in the thing. Make that stone cutting roll just to see sure. how, how hopeless that situation is. Yeah. Really, uh, hard to read. Uh, tell you, I'll turn myself uh, into a little boulder. It's a light, it's a light that time I don't know if you guys have like, the equipment to. So. Yeah, and my thought would be like, okay, I'm pretty strong. I've got gauntlets of ogre strength, which don't really help. But like, I mean, what would it take? Uh, and the answer is, I think that's a ten. Ten total. Mm, let me double text junk and see yeah, if it's three fifty is times one and times two. Even before then, we could lock them in the cave. Let's look at the other pages. <laughs> Files are inside the computer. <laughs> so they could come in, we could run out the back, block the door from the back, and then go back in the front and ambush. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty pathy, pretty easy. 13 total. 13? Uh, it would take you several hours uh, to kind of weaken the stone, weaken the structure enough for it to you know, potentially collapse. Mm-hmm. And then from there, it would be tough to manage the healthy yeah <laughs> repercussions from yeah you know, how um, far it would go or how do you feel about the locking them in and blocking them plan we should like wait till they get back we're not there we're waiting till they get back 
and then we run out the back, bar the, the door so they can't run out the back, and then we come back around the front and ambush them. That's all I got. Mm. That's all I got. No, it's not, it's just yeah. not a bad idea. He a dirty son of a bitch. Um... That's all I see now in these notes. Just he, he a dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> That's my only thought. Yeah, and I'm just. It, it, all right, right. Enjoy the bedtime story. So my worry is that what <laughs> there were like. How many of them? I, I think the number was twelve, but that's a bit. I I can't. I I'm not yeah. a digit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So there's there were quite a few of them, is what I recall. And so my concern is that we want to try and get them, or we have a. Uh, but one of them, t- one of them, tactical advantages. Yes. Uh, as opposed to if we let them kind of take, take their positions in here, uh-huh. it would be that much harder for us. Well, I'm like maybe we we go up here because that worked out so well for them when they were up there. Um, I don't know. Like I'm. I got nothing else at this moment, except just fucking putting our backs to each other and just taking it for all sides. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, having like assuming they can't enter here. Well, we like, can't assume that, though. That's the problem. Oh, that's that's what we're trying to do. We're trying it to secure take, that. It could take a few hours, and I, I couldn't guarantee that we wouldn't collapse the whole fucking game on us. Okay. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't shatter it. Um, well, I think that would work. Shatter would have worked, but... Okay, can they move the rod? So if we... Can they yes. move the rod? There's a button on it that they can just press and move it. Oh, we know. I might actually have one shatter Can we off. enchant... It so they can't. Um, we don't well, have so it hands. depends on what kind of door it is. So it ha- opens out, but maybe we could put through like a handle or something on the inside. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm thinking even if you put it on the outside and they couldn't move it, then they still couldn't get in then. No, but they can't. But they, they can't because they just on. press a button. Yeah. Fucking button. If it helps, I think I do have one second level spell slot left. Yeah, so I, 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 think, I think that fucking helps. It's like I, wish I, I think it helps. My spell slot. If you can shatter that shit. Yeah. That would illuminate that. Do you want it at the top near the entrance? Which be- whatever, whichever way is going to best block that cave. Yeah, up, I mean, up here. Probably up here, then. Mm-hmm. All right. Probably the least chance of that killing the rest of us, too. Mm. So we're going to have to set it off and run, basically. That's the plan. And that's my one thought, is that if you wanted to do this section, you could probably get over here and do it. That might be mm. better. Shatter. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. We do have one last spell slot left. So he's about to settle down. You got your little bed roll yeah, out. Like, you got wait, wait, no, we need your destructive just, capabilities. She's read that one last note yeah. from uh, Pinky McCreep Fuck and wait. Second Wind. Get an arcana check to see how well control your burst is. Okay. Use the pretty one. Use your precious. But this one's hard to roll. Gemstone for the... Oh, let's roll. Let's roll it quite easily. Pretty easy to be. Oh, okay. You have a negative one on Americana? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand magic. That's why the voices pick me. Yeah. She's strong, but she doesn't understand. Good, good. She has no idea what she's doing. <laughs> oh, th- thanks. Where did you cast it? Like on the, the flesh curtain or the top part? Uh, up here. Okay. Basically. I mean, I could trigger uh, Tides of Chaos. Don't, don't look at me. Really you're the, you're the chaos mage. That's your choice. I mean, I'm down for that. Love chaos. I love the chaos. As you like, cast shatter, you see the stones crack, but then you see that crack spread. Right here. Would you like to trigger? Yeah, I guess I, just to control it a little better. Okay. Get my reroll in. As you focus harder on the spell. Try to control ah. it a little bit better. Bring it back in. It's tough. It's almost physically tough as you try to. It's a fourteen. Force the destruction into a centralized location. You are able to. For now, you can. Okay. Into the stairwell as do, I mean, do you... the rocks collapse down onto the stairs, and from the cracks that leads behind you down the hallway, you just see a little kind of 
pieces of dust, the little tiny pebbles fall from the stairway. But for now, it Wait, seems... big chunks didn't fall? The stairwell is completely collapsed. Oh, okay, okay. But behind, down the stairwell, kind of like going past Red down into the main cavern, there's a crack now in the right. ceiling. That, that is oh, there's going to be no need for us to go over there, so... It is a signal as well, so... Three. <sighs> so I mean, good. you can always trigger it. Um, what is it again? Whenever you cast a spell, I can? Um, yes. Whenever I cast a spell, you can trigger Extra it. When I, like well, that gives it back trigger. the time to chaos. Yeah. Watch yeah. it be like, your curse is removed. <laughs> like, I just want to trigger so much. Like, I mean, you can trigger it. He, he has <laughs> the potential of triggering it. I feel so much better now that I have coffee. <sighs> I feel it's like it's always about to get battle. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not, it's not, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, 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 I understand. Oh, uh. He also, can you trigger at any time? She has to cast a spell. Yeah. How many oh. spells do you have left? Ah. That was like her last one. It was my last second level. I only have first level, so I can't trigger at this point. You actually have first levels left? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, they're kind of shitty, so I don't really use them. Yeah, I've got like sleep charmers. Thunder, the thunder. <laughs> uh, we're on the dice. Rando, go for it. You, oh, so you want the. Uh, so are you tricking Sherry or roll the d20 and it didn't come up? But. Yeah. Now we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. Let's just so see if you can. Just, just save okay. your uh, wild magic search for when I'm surrounded by children. Oh boy. Yep. Great. Okay. Right? Everyone's on fire. Yeah. I was gonna make a campfire for you kids. Here There's you go. More, Poof. There's more coffee too. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, all right, so you successfully collapsed that stairwell. Okay. Woo, Jenny! Okay, go take a nap. Did you like want to collect your marbles? Marbles first, or it's too late. It's too late. I mean, you can. I already yeah, took like... them off the list. Yeah. They're gone They're forever. The list. We appreciate your thoughts of doing that and sacrificing your marbles. Your well, balls. It's gonna be, it's gonna I, mean, be I already lost my marbles a long time ago. <laughs> It's gonna be a real rude surprise when they when they go in that door and then like slip down the hallway into it's like a pile of rocks. Yeah. Oh, wow. so <laughs> Lightning and the thunder. Damn it! Stuck in right now. Oh yeah, hard. All right. Jenny lays down for a nap. What does everybody else do? Um, We're gonna stay here and like prepare, right? Traps. I'm gonna go okay. talk to um. Yeah. Place those down. <coughs> You're gonna do what? She she kind of stays by the shrine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over to the shrine there. Um, yeah, well, I'm trying to decide if I want to put them like up here, where they jump up, or like down here. Once again, you notice the treasure that's by it. Yeah. Yeah. It's more more than you've seen. Was, oh, those bear yeah. traps. There's some pretty shiny, beautiful stuff there that I know would fetch a, a hefty price or also be able to Slide of hand me shit. out of the situation. But at the same time, I really don't want to go angering one of two deities of an entire region. So. Yeah. I do. But I am going to ask her. Um, uh, Zalika, do you all have any weapons here? Like any good silver weapons or perhaps Jeez. maybe just something magical or enchanted or maybe explosives that might have been donated to your shrine? <laughs> uh, we try to keep the explosives outside the cave. Okay. Uh, we don't generally care silver weapons either. Yeah. Obviously because it hurts them. Yeah. I mean, you know, just in case. Do y'all have any magical weapons? Any enchanted spells? Anything that we could use? Anything that might could aid us? No. Uh, for the most part, we don't see too many magical weapons even in this realm. Much less come to our possession and not go to Strahd. Strahd's mm -hmm. like treasure vault is full of adventure weapons. Nice. Magical adventure weapons. For the most part, most worlds don't dabble in magic. I believe one of our newer members does, but Tell me about your this new member. I came in here not too long ago, maybe a month, a month or so ago. Do you know their name? 
Uh, we kind of tend to keep to ourselves, Emil and I. Uh, I think his name was Miargo. Can we meet Miargo? Yes, we did. He was. Oh man. Who was he? He was the spider. Yeah, well, he was glass He was the spider, right? Or was he glass Spider was the drow. Yeah. That you guys. He was He was glass staff. Yeah. Remember that we had to, like, he was left behind? Oh, yeah. No, he got taken by the. He got bit, and then the world kept chasing after you guys. Yeah. He got taken by the world. He's probably still here. Like, he's here. Yeah, he's their newest recruit. Okay. Feels like a year ago. Yeah. Real life feels probably more than a year ago. Like, like, year ago. Like, 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 IRL. It gave um, it was probably like a month ago. Mm-hmm. Huh. God, we really need a vacation. In game, we really we are pissing a lot of people off. Very quickly too. Well, we we did try to help them. It was yeah. just like. Just remember, you're the good guys. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we really did try to help them, and we were gonna like we treated them fairly. Like relatively fairly, like we we yeah. legitimately tried to help him. We did. It was just that like we got overrun by werewolves. Where does this new wolf sleep normally? Where does he keep his possessions? Um, where would they sleep? Mm-hmm. It's like a storage room, but they probably have like sleeping. Seems like they've got a little those sleeping little dens. Coves. Yeah. yeah, more than those coves over there. Okay. Um, turn on the deck magic and go look for magic. It was, it was his doll. No. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. Oh. Um, I wasn't that big of an impression on him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you I'm, never know. I, I am actually going to give her... Yeah, that's why it's a zombie doll. Um... Because I still have a couple Malachite gems that I stole a long time ago. Uh, I'm going to take one of those Malachite gems out of my pouch. Um, and I'm going to offer it to the um, shrine. One of my Malachite gems. Okay. And I'm going to say to uh, Zalika, this might not be much, but it's it's something oh, for yeah. the Night Mother. It's something. It's something. Um... I'm going to place it kind of like on the pile. And simultaneously slide of hand a bigger ruby. <sighs> then I'm going to ask, also cast Mage Hand and do late Mage Hand on Man so it's invisible. <laughs> no, joking. Because <laughs> <laughs> it can. A little um, one for one. Huh? It's like, like Indiana Jones drop the Malachite yeah. to something else. <laughs> well, I mean, no, because the hand is invisible and it can just pick something up and like carry it away. <laughs> It's the Night Mother! It's like literally the one thing I don't use that I got and I was really excited about. But there's just not been a situation where I'm just like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh-huh, and then it just kind of like comes and just takes it and I go. But yeah. Did we get that flute? So I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna investigate. Wherever you find your doll. Whoever, this isn't me. Um, That's okay. me. Where are so you just back here with Hyrule? So we're, we're back. Uh, I don't think. No, nah, she, she's been. Where have you been? I'm, I'm all over the place. Spring. I am omnipotent. You've been in the hot spring, it. I think. So yeah, I'm, I'm taking gonna a bath. go over here, and I'm. Jenny's trying to sleep, and I'm like, really <laughs> gonna look around <laughs> in each you one of these the rooms. Okay. Do I need to roll for each room? For an arcana check. Or. Yeah, Perception I guess I'm gonna go with arcana check. It, I don't know. That's the thing is, I want to look for anything that might belong to Iarno. So it might be magical. It might just be a journal. Mm-hmm. Um, but bored people. So I guess just journals. investigation. Okay. Or yeah, investigation's fine. What happened? Oh. <laughs> is she in the cooler bag? Oh, She's in the cooler God. bag. Oh, it's so cute. You want me to get her out? No, it's adorable. It's the cutest. Thing. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. See this little nugget? Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's just a happy little pea in a bod. I miss heavy hands. Oh, she's just... We have three if you want one. You can take that one if you want. I want, 
I want Mr. Goldfish. <laughs> you can Mr. take him too. Goobers. Okay, so I guess it's just going to be an investigation at each one of these rooms to look specifically for something that might belong to Yarno, be it like a magical pouch or like a journal or like scribblings that he has, just something that speaks. It's, it's just oh, like a little sure. journal and it's just like, fuck Shanna. Fuck Shanna. Well, I, I didn't find anything in either room at all. <laughs> let's do it all. Um, well, let's say this room is a natural one. Okay. So it doesn't matter what I add to that. Um, because even with an investigation, it'd be only a five. Sure. Um, this is a six, so it's just a ten. Um, there's not a lot of possessions anyway, uh, in these rooms. Uh, so let's... I'm just hug, gonna hug that glass to have tighter. But you're asleep, you don't know. You yeah, don't know this information. <laughs> nope, I'm just, I'm just sleeping with the staff. You're just stroking the staff. He's gonna want that back. Polishing it. Put it to good use. <laughs> <laughs> don't wear yourself out now. <laughs> No, I need to sleep. Okay. Try and sleep. All right, so I'm going to go back. Um, and I'm going to go to... Because I'm going to go to Brar. Oh. I'll come over, too. Oh, yeah, right. I'm clean now. Okay. Hey, hey guys. Hey, oh, please. Brar. I should have waited until after we sliced and diced some rolls, but, you know. So, y'all, like, I just found out that Iarno is alive. Who the fuck's Iarno? Glassstaff. There's a lot the of guy different. that it was a long time ago, <laughs> back in a different realm. Oh, you mean you mean the guy who actually had the glass staff? Not, yes. Okay. Not not red. The actual blue, glass staff. Red Jenny. Yep. Okay. Multicolored Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I thought he got killed by a whale. He oh. Is one. Uh, he's here, and he can still use magic. Well, okay, we're gonna kick his ass again. Okay, but like this is a <laughs> werewolf that uses magic. Like that's some fucked up shit. Yeah. Like, werewolves are fucked up shit. Yeah. Tell you no, what. but like, we have a werewolf that's already really fucking hard to defeat all by itself, and now they can use magic. Good. It's Bring it good. on! I put some bear traps out. <laughs> okay. Those worked so well last time. Is it, they, they saved our bacon last time. They were actually really fucking effective, better than like our door blockades. True. <laughs> but I know that last time we did kind of have Iarno on our side. Maybe we can persuade him yet again. Was he on our side? He kind of was. He, we did have him... We were merciful. Found, and he stripped like him of his possessions and bound his hands and then left him in the back of our pack to eat water. Well, he's probably not going to be so understanding this time. I mean, we could try. You know. <clears throat> But, but He's yeah. gonna be so pissed. <laughs> you guys. God damn. It's your fault. Okay, so yeah. You know, good good to talk. Um, mm-hmm. So we have <clears throat> kind of all the traps set that we can. Do you guys have, and I'm talking to like the wolf wolf bros and elf sisses uh, at this point. Do they have like range weapons? Do you have something you can do? <clears throat> Like they've, got they've got Moonbeam, right? Uh, one of the, the Wolf spells. Brothers does have a bow. Uh, I think that's the one of the notch is it, is it magical? marks on there for each, each uh, wolf he killed. They can use my crossbow right. they need it. Uh, what's that? Sorry. Is it magical? Uh, or silver? Silver-tipped arrow. Silver-tipped? Um, I never got my no, arrow silver Um, The Wind Chaser sisters, each Actually, one of them has... he's probably out of silver-tipped arrows by now. There's not too much going around. And usually they only hunt normal wolves. So he doesn't? Yeah, I'm not. Mm. Well, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, because if we can get the Windchaser sisters, Windchaser sisters, we can get you guys to moonbeam these freaking werewolves. That would help us immensely. Can they moonbeam? Uh, their level is not quite up to your guys' par. <sighs> they know very little Peppers. magic. Yeah, for the most <laughs> part, are using shillelagh on weapons to make a magical attacks. Well then just buff us. Buff the people that don't have magical weapons so that they can do damage to the werewolves. You're going to be our supporters, okay? I think shillelagh only works on the one you're holding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fucking hate you guys. 
you're useless. You're kind of useless. I'm going to okay. like look them both in the eye and be like, you're both beautiful but useless. <laughs> Oh, God! James like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Well, yeah. Um, it's time to play. <laughs> we can still kill the wolves or kill the, the werewolves. How? The wolves are immune to. How do you know which one is which? Well, because oh, wolves work it. on all four. You stab it. You stab it. <laughs> you stab it. If it works, it. it's a werewolf, or it's not a werewolf. <laughs> well, if you guys will focus on. Wolves and the human humanoid life forms work with the wolf brothers because they don't have any magical weapons. They don't have any magical abilities. They don't have any silvered weapons. I wasn't Shannon. Well, do they have like... any silvered weapons or at all, or <laughs> just, are they just useless. sort of bows and arrow uh, or arrows? For the most part, I am intelligent. Like, it was just bow and arrows. Um, they're assisting the, the sisters by either like giving them advantage by either holding them or. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't have too much silver, unfortunately. Um, uh, I, I got anything. Moonbeam. I can cast Moonbeam. I only have. I only have it for one more. And how spell. long does like that one spell last? Do you have one, one minute? One. That's that's still a long time. Yeah, that is a Ten long rounds. time. So I have that. I can man that as they're coming in. Yeah, and so. I mean, my, my thought is that we have ourselves a raid sort of out here with, like, the brothers, like, one brother and one sister <laughs> on each kind of side. Mm -hmm. um, and then our archer is up here because we can actually do stuff. Yep. And then we basically set up a firing line as they come in here. Yeah, yeah. And they'll probably either jump up here right into my axe or try and go there, like, through the traps to maybe slow cool. down a little bit. But cool. I mean, it'll the plan is gonna far beam. apart real quick, mm -hmm. and then yeah, you'll just be like, just bzzz, be like bzzz, putting like, that beam all over the place. Exactly. And if they get too close, I may just have to. And out. so you can cast other non-concentration spells while you, yeah, your concentration. Yeah, you can't on cast can concentration spells. So yeah, so. you can you can cast that, and I think you can move you move it as a standard action, you move it as a move action. You know, the move action. Move. So you'll be able to do other stuff too while you're constantly. So while while Moonbeam is I still have a scroll of augury. But I can't remember who who is the only person that's able to use the scroll of augury. Probably her. Has to be in your spell list. Oh, you also have a chalice. Why can I use it? I have a figurine. Because it's on your spell list. Yeah, that also has augury on it too. Yes. But the figurine is more powerful than the scroll. Yeah. What does it do? It allows you to see um, a decision like 30 minutes, like the outcome. Yeah, it's not vision. It's like, if I put my hand into this strange liquid, will it be good or bad? It's pretty, it's pretty much just wheel or well, right? Yeah, yeah it's like, like it's, it's good or is it going to be bad? Yeah. Because I kind it's of like want to have her use it and be like, if we set up this line of defense, will it be good or I see, I don't know if you can ask it like a broad thing like that because there's so many factors. Yeah. Um, if we cast Moonbeam on be like, Raw, Whoa. will it be a good decision or a bad decision? Because <laughs> if Raw is like that forefront right there to get anybody who jumps up at us, um, I feel like that'd be a, a really great defensible position. And if we keep the Moonbeam on or near Brar to where it can de wolf people who are near it, Brar's our main tank. And I mean, we need to support him. And this is this is getting a level, a level above Brar at this point. But from from what happened before with Moonbeam, mm -hmm. they can move out of the Moonbeam and switch back to Wolf form, like that. So the yeah. best use of Moonbeam is actually knocking them out of Wolf form so that we can attack them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think. I. I mean. That's I don't know if that actually what, changes their their thing, but. That's kind of what my. Yeah. Do they take damage from this? I think so they take damage ready, right Like, we'll be ready. 2d10 radiant, radiant damage. Yeah. On uh, failed save. Yeah. So damage is much allies, like too, but you can position it usually where it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but, like, if... So, like, yeah, maybe not cast it directly on yeah, If the brothers and the yeah. sisters are all around one werewolf, and then you cast it, it's going to do damage to them, too. It's only... It's not a big... Not five foot strong. radius. Yeah, so it's the square and... You just the, make sure not to zap them. Yeah. Zap. Whoops. It's all right. <laughs> Dead. Okay. okay. That's the thing. And you can move Moonbeam around, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the thing is if we just, like I was saying. As a bonus ready. action, right? You can move it. 
I think so. So we can ready our attacks. Oh, so I can cast it more than once, though, too, because I have third level slots, and I can cast it as a third level slot. Nice. Ah, yeah. That's a higher level, yeah. And the damage increases. Should I just cast it as a third level? Um, maybe, yeah. Depending on what your third levels are. Depends on what else you want to do with those, yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, that was my whole thing. I got three third levels. I can Move it around, this. attack as they de-wolf. Yeah. I think we have a plan. It's yeah. good. We have a damn good plan. It's no good. You know, Can I take my spider silk sack and like do one little tiny like line across the floor and just hope that someone trips on it? <laughs> I'm joking. Do it. I still have that sack of spider silk. I've got well, it might be good once like if somebody gets stuck somewhere or if they like they get bottlenecked anywhere. Mm-hmm. Well, I've got web too. Yeah. 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 She's got webbing. Oh, you've got your staff doing that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you still got staff. Are you gonna be double staffing? Might have to be. Okay. Woo-hoo. No. Can't guess that, yeah. <laughs> well, if I don't have any spells left, I might be. It's true, yeah. <laughs> just on the <clears throat> So that's cool. Well, I guess we just we keep watch at this point. We'll see if she gets a, a full night's rest in, but I doubt it. Otherwise, we'll be ready to blow the whistle when they... I see the, the whites of their snaps. Okay. Whites? I mean, unless there's anything, any other prep stuff that we want to do before that, I think. Bear traps. Bear traps set. Things that thing collapsed. Done. Half ass plan hatched. Done. Are we proceeding with the battle? If you guys are ready. Anything else you would think you want to do? Or are we pausing and battling at this time? That's an extra good question. Um, it's up to you guys. It's take probably another. It's very fair. Hour. We'll, you know, there will be some conversation to start it. Um, and then we'll see if I, if it goes into a giant ass battle, yeah, it's going to be a long battle. Yeah. Uh, so, so we'll, we'll do the conversation leading up to it and then we'll go from there. Okay. okay. And depending on what you guys say, it could be a giant battle, small battle, no battle, or... Well, knowing us, it's going to be a giant <laughs> battle, so... <laughs> We're gonna ask a million questions. They're all gonna get really confused and just try. What to do us. we need to ask? What is there to talk about? Well, we don't know. We killed all their women and children. Maybe, we, well, maybe this is the point where we can be like we can turn them against Strahd. We can be like, this is your time. This is your Rise last up. chance. Free wolves. Revolt. Hashtag Master revolt. gave Dobby a sock. <laughs> well, this here we could just be like, yo, bro. This is your last chance. This is it. If you want to surrender, surrender now. <laughs> if you want your people to be free and not bound by a bad Dead madness. by us. Oh wait, it's too oh, late. No, it's too far. It's too far. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be so dead. <laughs> too far. Next time when we re-roll new characters. <laughs> I'm gonna fine. make an arcanist. Artificer. I'm gonna just do something Whatever. weird. <laughs> I'm gonna do something extremely normal. Just really, really normal. I wanna be a nerd. Yeah. Like a wizard. It's like a knight of the realm. Just so, very proper. As you guys are positioning yourself, you're gonna get set up. You start to hear the howl. Shit. Shit, dude. It's happening. You know what? We're used to this. It's no problem. Somebody should go wake Red. Mm. The house kind of penetrates through the cave and starts echoing through there as it gets louder and louder. The kids start screaming. Red is woken up. <laughs> They're now uncontrollably crying and screaming. It's time, Red. <laughs> They're gonna come for us. They're not going to come for you. We're going to help you. Just we need you to stay calm. Keep <laughs> quiet. And let's let's sing together. Let's go back to the. Lake. Zalika's room because it's the furthest back in the cave. They won't be, they'll have to get through us. Alright? Let's all, let's all go together. Go. You walk the kids, they're still screaming and crying, and some of them are even hard to pick up off the ground. Oh my god. As they just completely collapse with themselves. Oh, come on, kids. If you want to live, <laughs> you better move your ass. <laughs> so you can try to persuade them, if you like. Yes. Um, we'll try to cheer them up as much as possible and let them know that we are definitely the good guys. <laughs> and they're gonna be okay. And then he 
Wow. Wow. Um, it's That's a really a fucking creepy, by the way. Fifteen. It's like, I say we're the good guys, and there's just like this bar, and I'm like, hmm. That's me, right? I'm not this, is, this is what it turns out, is like, we're all like, like psychotic evil people having this vision of us helping helping things, and in reality, we're just going. It's around all perspective, right? Murdering. Perce uh, perception is reality. I'm sorry. You said a thirteen. Uh, fifteen. 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 You are able to calm them down. At so least enough to get them. They're still visually. Distressed by everything going on. They should be. Well, we need these kids to be the last line of defense here. Okay, thanks. Bye. Of course. But, um, I mean, Zuluka, I'm assuming you are also willing to help defend the children? Yes. I would not be far. You see her assume the lycanthropy form. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Sounds fine as you kill anyone. I'm sorry. It's getting louder now. As it's not just one howl, or one growl, it's multiple at the same time. So, bro. As it's now even more echoing within the caverns and it's just surrounding you. And it's howling and growling. I'm ready in my boat. Like, I'm ready. Spider staff. Got one of the hand axes out. I'm assuming it wasn't What would you call those hand axes yeah. again? Um, the truth or something like that? Or... Yeah, we can, can look, look it up. Watch. Yeah, yeah look at back and watch. You know, buddy. You guys position yourselves. But I've, I've got the lightning one out. Right I now. prepare moonbeam. Oh, I also have a scroll about this. Well, that might be useful for you to have ready, Red. Well, I have to get some. Well, then have it. Okay. Got a spider staff. I, I'm not scroll. telling you what to do. In case things go down being long. I'm assuming it wasn't a long rest though, like probably like a couple hours. Yeah, it's not a couple hours. Okay. So I just got nothing but the usual whispers, okay? Oh. Oh red. I'm so sorry. Uh oh blue. Oh blue. You remind me of the deadly stroke in my brain hole. What? Do me It's okay, Mother Superior. Don't scratch that. You'll go mad. Anyway. <laughs> so, you guys are positioned at the mouth, the entrance. Yeah. In our ultra defensible, formidable position. How many were there again? Fifteen. Let me just make sure I get my count. Roll for eight hundred and seventy-three. Eight, maybe. Four. I think, four six. Well I think there were six. Yeah. There were four, actually, because you know the one that ran away made it four. Oh my god, dog. Who's out there? Dark kitty. He's like, there's people out there. I hear other humans that aren't petting us. There's a couple over there, too. Let's use some different ones, huh? Oh, boy. You gonna play with the little feet? There you go. You hear a chuckle, kind of pierce through the cavern. <laughs> so funny. I can smell your fear. I mean, that would be the children, not us. Mention not fear. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Pete, all over all your stuff. <laughs> all of it. This is mine, and this is mine, and <laughs> this so is mine. Tell me, how long will you last in there? As long as there are as many of you. <laughs> well, shit. I don't think this is going to go very well. Until the until the last one of your kind falls. Oh god. We have some wolf jerky. We yeah, we'll be fine. We got lots of wolf jerky. Wolf veil, right? Is that a Wolf pops, you can put some pops on the old kebab. Ooh, bork, yummy. bitches. Bork, bork. <laughs> really uh, unless guys. they're about to trap us inside. Oh, I, I don't know, hard to say. Uh, this white bitch was a bit meaty, though. It should be good. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Shots. And this is how combat starts. <laughs> it didn't take long. I mean, Jay did say, defending what you say. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're up. <laughs> You just hear like an angry growl just pierce through. That's what oh, I was going for. No. <laughs> Apparently, There's I no touched a nerve. Diplomacy here. It's too late for that. We can save you, save you a bite if you're a. Uh... Oh my gosh! Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I'm just like shh, shh. Stop it! What are you doing? You're going to, you're going to definitely get sunk in. We didn't that fools to come inside of a trap. She looks kind of okay. <laughs> Can we like get a hand and just kind of throw it out there and be like, hey, she's all right? <laughs> like just chop her hand off and throw it out there? <laughs> now she's definitely all right. Or maybe all left. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Dwarf. I will skin you alive. <laughs> I'd like to see you try for a ball. <laughs> you see, like, outside of the cave, it's kind of like a giant shadowy object just kind of walks past. As you start to see a lot of different shadows casted by the lightning that's kind of striking near them and throwing different uh, images across. It's hard to count how many there are, there's quite a few. Um, werewolves, lycanthropes, and wolves, apparently. I see you, pound puppies. You look a little bit damp. Why don't you come inside? It's dry in here. <laughs> Is that fear? Ass my dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's hunger. Morph. Mm. Well, I don't know if I'm as meaty as the white bitch, but you're welcome to try and take a bite. <clears throat> Send out the girl. What girl? What? Can you be a little bit more specific? <laughs> The daughter. What was her name? Morning Thunder. You want me to go outside? Yeah, you Just want it, you can come get her. Yeah, I'm not doing that. What did you tell your dad? I mean, I didn't know him anyway. You see, uh, they like him throw the almost shoved into the cavern. Now, and, and you guys can now see uh, one within the mall. Um, and this is a form that your father took. He is a little, not so much threatening, more disheveled, a little in shock as far as what's going on, what the situation is, a little confused. Uh, they shove him into the entrance way. Use this guy to so stand him. Oh, my dad's butt. That's what I'm to Jay. Well, we're not going to kill my dad. It's a concentration. It's all right. It's, we're going to do it for now. You can send that message back. Mm. What's your dad's name? Get him, get him up here. I mean. Dad, join us. No, we don't want him up here. Just stop him there. Fight against these motherfuckers. Join us. No. You are surrounded and with no escape. Take my chances. We'll be stronger with you. For what? Killing people? Survive. I don't want to fucking survive in Barovia anymore. We'll, we'll be stronger with you, and you should take a, yeah, take a note from your daughter. She's actually brave. Yeah, this is... Yeah, you're the coward the that chose this life. 
to spare yours. And frankly, I would rather die trying than make that decision. What is the point of survival if you have no one to live for? What's the point of survival if you have to if you're be oppressed. a servant to someone else? Yes. That's Which not survives. surviving, that's existing. There's no life. There's no life in that. Then There's that no not life not surviving. It's you, not. It's you not call, your you life. call this living? It's someone else's. Yeah, is this your, is this like your, the way you want to live? Is this how you wanted to live your life? Is this how you wanted your daughter to live her life? But I have the future to change. Well, then now's your opportunity. Here it is. This is opportunity. Best knocking. chance you're going to get. Roll up a space Okay. <laughs> I like it when we team up on people. Nice. Ish, maybe. I don't know. Fifteen. Not bad. And we're all like cheering you on. Yeah, I have. I mean, can I roll with an advantage? The help of sure. the teammates. It's really that fruit. What's that one? Nope. Yeah. Uh, that fruit's pretty good. 15's, 15's great. <laughs> you see him almost kind of like like a dog would approach like a piece. You know, like, like food, like you can see his food, but you know, kind of hesitant, kind of like. Inching forward a little bit, kind of sniffing everything. Now he sees you guys and sees weapons drawn on him. And it's yeah, not yeah. Exact, exactly. Uh, you can just. Hey, what's going on? Kind of feeling. Right. I mean, definitely. like, we'll he, knows, be, he knows what the game is here. He's, yeah, we'll be, like, cautious, yeah. but let's. You know. I mean, I don't have, like, my bow pointed at him. I mean, it's ready to yeah. be, like. But. Do we know his name? Poopy Butt. Oh. <laughs> What would you like to name your... What would I like to name my dad? <laughs> Dingleberry. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> How about dick butt? Dances with dicks. Wow. Uh, we call him... Yeah, we can't just call everybody poopy butthole. So just <laughs> let's just... Call him clean on. Like, you know, how you have a hmm. long-haired cat sometimes when they poop in the box. All right, morning thunder. Call him a clean on. He's morning wood. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just yes. go with Woody. Uh, I suppose Thunder would be the be, common though? name. What would your mom be? The most beautiful lady Morning ever. Morning Spring? <laughs> wow. Morning Spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, I'm going to keep We're Thunder. Bad, guys. It's a <laughs> Afternoon Thunder. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking... Underdog. <laughs> you you got one chance, T Dog. T Dog. <laughs> Make it count. Thunder Dad. We'll think about we'll give him a real name. For now. Sorry, just... he might be dead soon, so Yeah, he might be T Dog. He might oh, be T Dead. His name's like just Thor Trevor. <laughs> we'll just say something like uh fallen tree. Like fallen tree. Yeah. Coward fucking tree. <laughs> Broken tree. His friends just call him Stumpy. Stumpy. <laughs> Do you have the strength to fight off seven werewolves. Oh yeah, yeah. we got that. Seven, we got yeah. That. Oh, that was come on, fifteen. And, and nine wolves. Well, yeah, yeah, we got yeah. this. Yeah, that's nothing. We can do this. Like we fought worse. We're willing to try. And do you have the power to kill Strahd? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Too. for sure, definitely. And he's kind of like inching his way. This is part one years. of the Killing Strahd plan. We have it laid out, don't worry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a multi-point plan. That we, we have, have PowerPoints to show you when you're like 100%. Yeah, we have a, it's a great slideshow presentation. Like, it, there's snacks provided as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's inching closer. Can you make an insight check? Sure. Yeah, just keep an eye on him. This is not my... Solomon is where he's up to no good. Jeez, 14. Well, the three's just enough to... <laughs> I mean, it's... It's tough to tell. If he's scared of you, scared of the werewolves behind him, or scared talking to his daughter. Well, um, now is the time to be not scared. Have you ever loved Mom? You will do this, and you will stop crapping on her grave. Wow. I mean, right here, T-Dog. 
T Bone. No, give him a hand. I up like T Bone. If he wants to. <laughs> T Dizzle. T Dizzle. Tweet T Swiffy. He, uh. Maybe you should offer a hand. Very dramatic. You might need more blood, too. Yeah, but I can, like, power up. Yeah, no, but, like, it'll be more dramatic if she does it. Yeah. Well, he just so he's looking at you. It'll be very emotional. Okay, I soften my eyes. <laughs> do the do the old movie. Soften. I soften my eyes. I do a slow blink. <laughs> and I put out my hand. Go help him up. <laughs> he just bites my arm off. <laughs> He's like, well, he just like, like rubbing against, like aggressively. <laughs> it doesn't work. He approaches. Uh, His hind leg twitches. It's great. I'm gonna keep an eye out, like behind him, just because I don't think. Oh yeah, we're. It's good. Yeah, I think there's gonna be like. Oh yeah, that's what I'm worried about too. So you allow him to approach? Okay. Yeah. He comes and leads giant wearable floor. You must make a decision quickly. Do you know why they hunted our guy? Oh, uh, no. They were hoping with our connection to nature that we could evolve the werewolf. That with our druidic abilities, we could control it or shape ourselves into hybrid forms. To take over the world? Strength for the pack. He goes to hug you. To hug me? Yeah. Okay. I cautiously accept a hug from a giant river wolf. Is like he, is he really down on hug. the lower level, or like has you. he, like, had a big... Oh my god, no! <laughs> What's that? So, so we're up on this ledge thing, so has he come oh. up on the ledge, or oh, okay. is he... Because um, we offered him, like, a hand to, like, come I'm up. I'm gonna die. Like, if you don't mind, yeah, yeah, he'd probably climb up there. Okay, yeah, It's so... okay, just cast Moonbeam. <laughs> he, he might just, like, stuff out you. there. Yeah. And he says, I'm sorry for everything And I'm sorry oh. for what I must do. Oh, oh I fucking I got rid of him or something. I don't know. Turn into a bear. He bites you on the shoulder. Does he land it? Can I resist it? Yeah, can we can we like we were Did Disney land it? Not unexpecting it. Like can we do anything uh roll Do I see him? He has you technically grappled. Uh it doesn't matter, but uh doesn't yeah, matter. Roll, roll defense it doesn't see. matter, you said? Yeah. Well roll defense, what happens? So it's a number. It's a two, I think. Shit. Ew. You got bitted. Roll a saving throw. I believe it's a constitution saving throw. Well, actually, we'll, we believe in you most. This is what we're going to do. We're going to hold off on that. Damn it. Oh, boy. Till next time. Yeah, uh, cliffhanger. You hear the howls, the growling, as Morning Thunder's father lashes its maw I'm into your shoulder. Cut his fucking guts open. Wrong choice, old man. Wrong fucking choice. See, this is when we're off camera. I'm gonna explain the psychology behind this, okay? <laughs> okay. Hope you guys enjoy that session. Next time, we'll see what happens. Will Mofo be a real werewolf? Will she finally get to be a real werewolf? Or is she just gonna turn into a wolf? Hello? How the battle will commence? I'm very upset. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, it's like, it probably is what's gonna happen, but... Well, I hope there was, like, some good in him, but I guess not. Sorry, my inside was insufficient. I just want to cut his guts open all over the place. Well, we don't have a chance. You are going to be given this opportunity. That happens next. Yeah, See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you guys can donate, please donate down below. If you can't donate, we understand that. Just like, subscribe, follow, Did share. Just shit on mom's grave. And we will see you guys next time. Yay. Bye. 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 Bye.